hi everyone welcome to my channel today's video i'll be showing you how to make this crochet spider web top very easy for beginners um the size of this top is small to medium it's not too tight not too loose i'm going to use this yarn from lion brand number three light 100 grams you can see the details of this yarn into the description below the hook that i'm going to use is 4.5 millimeter hook to start make a slip knot and chain six four five six slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring and then chain six chain six count as a one treble and chain two in between and then one treble into the ring and then chain two and one treble again into the ring so we're going to repeat this one treble chain two eleven times so eleven treble plus chain four is equal to twelve treble crochet after your 11 treble crochet you're gonna slip stitch into the fourth chain so we have total of 12 treble crochet including the chain four round two chain eight chain four count as a uh, one treble then the four chains is the chains in between the treble and then one treble crochet into treble stitch so that is the pattern for round two four chains in between continue this all the way around and i'll meet you at the end of this round so every space you're going to put four chains We're here at the end of the round. You're going to slip stitch into, into the fourth chain. Round three, we're going to chain four, count as a uh, one treble and then six plus six, one, two, three four five and six so we're going to put six chains in between so every space here we're going to put six chains and then one travel and slip stitch into the fourth chain and for the next round round four we're going to add two more chains in between so chain four for travel and then chain eight so 
So eight chains in between travel crochet. So eight chains, one travel, eight chains, one travel, and then slip stitch. Next round, round five, one, two, three, four, round five, so chain four, and then plus ten. And then one treble into treble stitch. So ten chains in between. So ten chains, one treble, and then ten chains, one treble. Continue all the way around. After this round, we're going to make into square. So where you're going to put your stitch marker here. Skip two trebles and then into the third, put stitch marker. And then skip two. Into the third, put the stitch marker. And then skip two and stitch marker so that will be our corners so round six we're going to increase to make a corners chain four count as a travel and then chain ten And then one travel into here where we stitch marker is and then we're going to add four chains one two three four and then one double travel yarn over three times And insert into the same stitch so yarn over full through two loops 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 this stitch a little bit taller than the treble crochet then chain four and one treble same stitch and Repeat this in each corner. So here's the corner. You're going to do this again. In here. In each corner. The next, chain 10. And one treble into treble stitch. So chain 10, one treble, chain 10, one treble. We're here at the corner. So one travel. We're going to repeat what we did in the other corner. Chain four and then we're going to yarn over three times. One, 
two, three. And that is one double treble. Yarn over, fold through two loops. 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 And here's the second corner. Chain four and one treble, same stitch. And then here you're gonna continue chain 10 one treble chain 10 one treble and then you're gonna slip stitch here so we're here at the end of the round six you're gonna chain 10 and slip stitch into the fourth chain Round 7, we're going to chain 4 and then plus 10 chains. And we're going to travel under or into the treble stitch. And we're going to add two more chains. Here's the four chains. In between, we're going to put six chains in between. And then, yarn over three times. Into this stitch. And then chain six and one treble into treble stitch. So repeat this in each corner. And then chain ten, one treble, chain ten, one treble, chain ten. Then repeat corner in each corner so we finish around seven for round eight we're going to chain four plus ten chains chain four count as a uh, one treble then plus ten chains chains in between So one treble into treble stitch. We're here at the corner. We're going to add two more chains. So we're going to put chain eight. And one double treble into double treble stitch. And then chain eight, one treble into treble stitch. You're going to repeat this in each corner. And then chain 10, one treble, 
chain 10, 1 treble. Continue until the end of this round. We finished the round eight, and you can see it's getting bigger the square. Round nine, chain four plus ten chains. Total of 14 chains. And one treble into treble stitch. We're going to increase again into the corners. So from 8, we're going to make 10 chains. And then yarn over 3 times for the corner. And then chain 10 and one treble into treble stitch. So each space has a 10 chains in between. So repeat, we continue this until the end of this round. So here's the corner, has a uh, 10 chains in between. So this square is not enough for my size. I'm going to add more rounds. To add more rounds, you have to increase again in each corner. So here's the square and I'm going to repeat the round 6 and round 7, 8, and 9. So put stitch marker in each corner because we're going to increase again. To increase, we're going to repeat round 6, 7, 8, 9. Round 10, chain 4 plus 10 chains. One treble crochet into treble stitch. And then after your travel, you're going to chain 10 again. And one travel into here, the corner. And we're going to repeat the increase so 
we're going to make a uh, chain four just like the round six one two three four and one double treble yarn over three times into the same stitch and then chain four and one treble same stitch So here's the uh, another increase and you're gonna do this every or in each corner increase in each corner repeat the round six seven eight nine chain 10 one travel chain 10 one travel and then repeat the increase here here's the round 10 i'm done and then for round 11 you're gonna repeat round 7 with uh, six chains in between for round 12 you're gonna repeat round 8 and for round 13 you're gonna repeat round 9 here's my round 12 this is 10 11 and 12 so my last round is round 13 so chain 4 plus 10 chains and one treble into treble stitch And then chain 10 and one travel into travel stitch. Chain 10 again. And you're going to make one double treble into double treble stitch. So each space has a 10 chains in between. So this is my last round, the round 13. And if you want bigger size, after this round, you have to repeat round 6 to 9. So continue all the way around to finish this round so just like i said if you want bigger size or if you're bigger you can add more rounds just repeat the round six to nine so to close you have to chain one and then cut your yarn So here's the back and the front. You're gonna paste together the right side.
and you're gonna put stitch marker for this both corners this will be the shoulder part and here's another corner and put the stitch marker and this will be the another shoulder so this is for shoulder part you're gonna put stitch marker here this will be enough for my uh, neck so here one space only and one space and for the armhole i'm going to put into the third space and put stitch marker this will be enough for my armhole i guess and if you want loose sleeve you can put into the half of the 10 chains but for me i'm going to put in here into the uh, third travel stitch and then you're gonna stitch together here in this side up to the corner make sure you can try on this the shoulder and this the armhole i think that's enough and then you're gonna stitch together here up to the corner like that and you can put stitch marker here also I already stitched together here the shoulder part and I'm going to show you how I did using your darning needle you're gonna tie twice This is how I stitch together. stitch together these both sides of your spider web top so this from here to the corner just stitch together here's the neck part and this is the armhole and we're going to flip into the right part of the top so here's the armhole we're going to attach the yarn here in the middle so I'm going to use the new yarn so 
so here's the where's the armhole here the armhole you're going to put your or insert your stitch marker you can do in here space and but i like here into the middle part insert your hook here if you can and then grab your yarn make a slip knot and pull through your yarn and then chain four chain four count as a one treble two three four then plus ten chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and one treble in two treble stitch okay and then chain 10 and then one travel into travel stitch this is more easier now because we don't need to increase and then after your travel you're gonna chain 10 again and here's where we attach the shoulder shoulder part so after the 10 chain or after 10 chains you're gonna put your treble into the middle where is it here here's the middle insert your hook into this middle part of the shoulder and then chain 10 and then travel into travel stitch Continue this all the way around. And after this run, you're gonna slip stitch into the fourth chain. Repeat until you have 19 rounds. If you want longer, you can add more rounds.
and here we're done thank you for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel bye